So today I'm going to show you guys how to register for block classes in your re-engineered schedule. The first thing you want to do is log on to your pause account using your username and your password. Once you get into pause, type registration into the top search bar. Select registration and then scroll down and hit register for classes. The screen that's going to be showing, you're going to have a few different things you can do. You can view your status to make sure that you're eligible to register and your registration date. You can view the blocks and this is also where you can register for your classes. So I'm going to select view your status. I'm going to select the fall term. And this is showing me that I am eligible to register the day that I'm able to register and that there's no holds on my account. Over here, it's showing me that I'm an engineering student and I'm an undergraduate student. So now let's go back to the registration page and start to register for your classes. So I'm going to go back to register. Again, I'm going to select the fall term. And this screen is going to show me all of the different blocks that are available. I'm automatically going to be put into the first block. But if I scroll down, I can see all the different blocks that are available. You do not need to register for individual courses in block registration because all the courses that you need for your fall term are going to be attached to this one block. If I look around, I can see all the different courses. I can also see the time of day they are, when they are, and the duration of each of these courses. So let's say that I don't want to register for block one, but I want to register for block two. I'm going to hit the block two that I want to register for, and then I'm going to hit submit. So now I need to just type in all of the start dates for each of the courses. I have to type them in exactly the way that it's written below in the top bar. So you can either copy and paste this date or you can type it out exactly the way that it's written. So I'm going to type in the date and then the end date will automatically be filled if I click somewhere else or tab to the next date. So I'm going to continue this for all of the different courses that are attached to this block. You must do this for every course that's attached to the block. If you miss any, it won't let you register. So once I get to the very last class in the block, I again need to fill in the end date, but I need to make sure that I click somewhere else so that that end date gets automatically filled. If I don't hit somewhere else and try to hit confirm without filling in the end date, an error will pop up telling me that I did not fill in the end date. To fix this, just click somewhere else and then you can hit confirm. This will process your request to register for your classes. Don't hit submit again because that will resend in your request. At peak times, it can take a very long time for you to register for your classes, so just wait and don't hit it again. Now that I've registered for courses, I can see all of the classes that I'm taking, the time of day that they're in, when the classes are, and a little bit more information about them. Now let's say I want to change to the half speed option or I want to drop a course. I cannot do that by myself because all these courses are attached to the block. If I want to change anything about my schedule, I need to talk to an academic advisor. So now if I look over here, I can get a little bit more information about my schedule. You can see it looks like the courses overlap, but that's just because they're modular courses and they don't run for the entire duration of the semester. So some of these courses might be running for just two weeks and then switch to another course. So now let's say that a full semester of engineering is not enough for me and I want to take even more courses. I can search for classes up here. Let's say I want to take an economics course. Make sure before registering in these courses you talk to an academic advisor because you might not be getting credit for these towards your engineering degree. So if I search for economics, 
I'm going to also need to know the course code if I want to take a specific one. And then it'll show me all of the different economics courses that are available. So I can see that this one has a time conflict, but this one looks like it'll work. It'll show me the time of day that it is, when it's running, if it's taught remotely or in person, and how many seats are available. So then to add this course, I just need to select add. And then down here, it shows that it's pending. So I need to say that I want to register in this course. So if I go to the drop down, I select register. And then I submit. So now if I want to drop that elective that I added, I just need to go down to the bottom here and find the course that I want to remove. And because this elective is not attached to any blocks, I can withdraw or drop the course. So I'm going to select withdraw. I'm going to hit submit. And now I've successfully dropped the course. And that is how you register for block courses, how you change your block, and how you can add electives. If you have questions about registering for classes, you can ask us at the Engineering Student Centre by email or by phone. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're excited to see you in the college.